Hey guys, here is SolidBike with another SolidWorks tutorial video. Today I'm going to talk about an assembly feature called Join. Essentially, this feature allows you to combine two or more components of an assembly into an individual part file. This is sort of like the master model modeling technique in reverse. If you're not already aware of this feature, I think you'll find this quite interesting. So here I have a plastic housing composed of a top and a bottom with a gasket sandwich in the middle. From a manufacturing perspective, uh, we will typically injection mold out the top and bottom housing separately. As for the gasket, uh, we can do that out of silicone rubber with compression molding. An alternative way to manufacture this would be to mold out the gasket as an over mold over the top or the bottom housing. Uh, this can be done using a two shot molding process where the gasket material would typically be a, a form of thermoplastic elastomer. In that case, you would want to combine the gasket and the housing into a single part. So this is where the join function comes in handy. So first, let's create a new part in the context of this assembly. We are not going to create any sketches here, so I'm going to just click in space. Let's rename the part to Overmore Housing. Next, right click on the new part and select Edit. Now we are editing this part in the context of the assembly. You can recognize that from uh, the feature turning blue in the feature tree. So at this moment, there is nothing in this new part. It is just an empty part. Okay, right next, go to Insert Features. And select Join. Now if you look for this feature in the command search bar, you are not going to uh, be able to find this feature. I'm not sure whether this has been fixed for uh, the, the later versions of the SOLIDWORKS. I'm using uh, 2016 by the way, so uh, well, if this has been fixed, uh, do let me know in the comments below. So you go to insert, feature, and select join. So you need to choose the components that you want to join. In this case, uh, let's select the top housing and the gasket. This is very similar to the combined feature that, we, that you will use at the part level. Now there's a check mark here indicating hide parts. If you leave this on, the original components that were joined to become the new part will be hidden away. Now let's see this in, ex in action. Click OK. As you can see, the original parts have been hidden away and we are left with a combined part. If we open this part in a separate window, we can see that the gasket and the housing has been combined into a single part file. Alright, hope that you have found this video useful. I will see you in the next video.